so before we get into today's vlog i want to give a really huge shout out to today's sponsor it is yvette sportswear you guys yvette sportswear prides themselves on being a high quality uh clothing wear sports brand for young ladies and they were kind enough to send me over a couple of their pieces so let's try them on Okay, so first of all, let's just talk about the quality of the packaging. You know we love packaging, and look how cute this is. So each item came in this cute little zipper um, with the pink Y on it. So let's see what we've got. So this first one is the Yvette Sports Bra. And I sent them over my measurements, and I got this one in a, I believe this is a small. Um, so let's put this one on and see how it looks. So I'm gonna pair it with these. These are the Yvette Sports Leggings. These are a size medium. So I'm gonna pair that with the sports bra. Okay, so the top, as you can tell here, definitely needed a medium in the top. Um, this is a small, but how cute is this? Like I love the back and the pants, the leggings are medium. I'm obsessed with this material, you guys. Um, they are so fitted, but the material is super light and breathable. They're just super duper comfy, but this set is super cute. Um, from far away, you can't tell that it's too small, and I feel like this is definitely a set that you could wear like out and about. Like, this is so cute, and like I said, the material feels so good. I really like this. Okay, so let's see what the next two items are. I love this packaging. You guys know we love packaging. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so a different sports bra, looks like that. And it's in the size small and it's in the color blue. That is the Yvette sports bra, but it doesn't have a zipper. Oh, and another sports bra. Um, this is one with a zipper, so I'm hoping it'll fit me a little better. Okay, so these are the other two sports bras, one in baby blue, and then you've got um, another one with a zipper in this bright, um, it's kind of like a mango color super cute so let's try these on hopefully this one fits me better so i just want to show you another really cool thing about the yvette sports bras is that they have these clasps on the back and a zipper on the front so you get lots of support i love the material you guys it's so breathable and soft perfect for working out but these look super cute as an outfit as well so those of you who like to wear your workout clothes outside <laughs> these sets are perfect Okay, I'm going to try on the blue one first. So this has got clasp in the back and no zipper in the front. I love the crisscross straps in the back. Very comfy. Okay, so this one is so cute. It definitely fits me better than the zipper. Um, but how adorable is this? I love the sports bra. So there's a little close-up of it. And it looks super cute with the leggings still. They're like capri-length leggings. Um, super duper cute. Little back shot. Yeah, I really love this one. <laughs> okay, so last we have this one that looks similar to this black one. Um, I'm just hoping it'll fit me better. It's the same. It's a small. So in these two, I would probably need a medium. Just for reference, you guys, not to be TMI, but I am a 34C. Um, so, you know, the girls be sitting. Um, so, yeah, maybe if you are more my size when you order a sports bra from this brand, at least this style, probably get a medium. Okay, so these two are not the same. This is the back of the first one, um, and this one doesn't have the clasps. But again, absolutely love the material. It's got the zipper, lots of support here for the girls, and then it's got the same like racer back um, straps. Okay, but how cute is this tag? So it says, be active, be daring, be inspired, be. Okay, Yvette, we love that. Okay, so this one fits perfect. I absolutely love how it fits. Um, again, it's got the zipper in the front. Here's how it looks with the leggings. Okay, little body. <laughs> um, but yes, love the color. Love the logo. Like, I just love it. And you guys, the material, when you get this home, the material is seriously the best part. It's so soft but breathable. Like, I don't know what the material is, but it is amazing. It's amazing. Oh, don't mind my Band-Aid from getting my booster shot the other day. But yes, love this, you guys. Huge shout out to Yvette Sportswear. Come on. No, 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 no. Original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Body nice. See I got them girls, them a moving right. See the girls, them a got me hypnotized. Them a make a bad man feel alright. Man, I tell 'em when she go low. Say you gonna get me when I'm all low. Man, I tell 'em when she go low. Bad man, I put you in a photo. I count down. Good afternoon. Um, welcome to a new vlog. Hello, sunshine. Um, okay, excuse me, lighting. <laughs> I'm gonna show you really quick what I'm wearing. I'm just about to go have lunch at Surprise Surprise Joey Uptown. I'm obsessed. I just have these pants on. I think these are from um, Fashion Nova. I've got Dior D Way slides and then this laundry top because I want to be a little cute, a little feminine, a little sexy. Um, my Prada Shearling bag, which I think just looks really cute. Um, lots of pink makeup, pink accessories, um, Dior earrings, hot pink David Yearman cable cord bracelet. Is it giving what I want it to be giving? Hi, my baby. <laughs> you look good. No, because yeah. I've missed my baby. I missed you more. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be for, uh, for uh, YouTube. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, my baby Gra is a YouTuber and she's so famous. And if you only knew, you couldn't sit with us. Sorry. Can't sit with us. <laughs> okay, so good morning. I, um, we didn't have the housekeepers come. Well, I didn't. There's no way. I live alone. <laughs> but I didn't have the housekeepers come because um, my house is pretty much clean. So I am changing the sheets. I just got new sheets for this one. Daddy, uh, today is the day daddy comes into town. So we're super excited about that. So I'm going to change the sheets on here. I got brand new sheets. Um, I also need to go downstairs and get the comforter out of the wash. I washed the comforter just so it could be nice and fresh for him. And then I'll get this room all straightened up. Um, I also got... So I got this yummy candle. It smells delicious. So it's crispy treats. Okay, don't sleep on Walmart candles. Like it smells really good. So I'm excited. And plus it's pink. So I can put it up here and it'll kind of go with the pink stuff. So yeah, good morning. That's what we are doing. <laughs> face hello um so my hair i couldn't my hair stylist couldn't get me in so i washed it myself last night so and i blew it out so that's why it's all over the place but the edges are laid come on it's giving a baby hair no lace 
Um, also, skin is looking amazing. I got my lashes done last night. Shout out to my lash lady. Um, so now I'm about to head to the grocery store really quick. Um, it is about 12 o'clock. My daddy does not get here. Um, he lands at three, but then I'll send him a car, excuse me. Um, so I probably won't get here until like 4.30. So I need to go to the grocery store and get ready for him. I've got my flowers again. So I got some, love these, so pretty for fall. Um, but I think I'm gonna get these hot pink ones too for upstairs. Okay, so just got home from the grocery store. As you can see, all our groceries, dishwasher is going, laundry is being laundered, um, flowers. And then I also got a bottle of just cheapy, regular champagne because I want to do um, mimosas. So I got OJ as well. Okay, so these will go. Aren't those so gorgeous? Um, of course, they're gonna go upstairs with all the pink. Um, I think I'm gonna put them up here actually. Okay, so I think we like them right here. Um, I might pull some of the leaves off, but these this is such a gorgeous color, like so pretty. And by the way, this candle is absolutely bomb. Crispy treats, it literally smells incredible. view whole room it's so pretty up here this is literally like my favorite place in the house okay so kind of getting ready just a little bit gonna put a little bit of concealer um on this face i did my hair i showered i cleaned my bathroom like we are ready for daddy i think i might try to cook for him i bought salmon so we'll see we all know i'm not the cook but we'll see tbd <laughs> Our daddy is on the way i just had to go get one more little gift for him this is his favorite liquor so we'll have this here waiting for him along with his little gifts from burberry so happy birthday daddy boo good gracious they're full so first meal with our daddy hello thank you <laughs> So good morning. It is the next day. Today is Saturday. We are in my bathroom, which means of course we're going to start getting ready for our day. Um, I'm going to take my daddy to Joey's. You guys know I'm obsessed with Joey Uptown. Um, and then we'll stop by the gallery just really quick. Nothing major. But I'm going to start getting dressed now. Um, I washed my hair the other night. So it looks really good. And I've already done full skincare. We've got these pimps that are pimping <laughs> little pimples. But um, I'm going to get dressed really quickly. I'll have a smoothie. I need to film another video, like a full sit down video. Um, it's a haul <laughs> or an unboxing reveal, whatever. Um, and then I'll go. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'll do a little chit chat party with me. Um, so we just have a couple little pimps to cover up, little pimples. Um, I don't know, my skin was like doing bad and then it was doing so good and now it's kind of like back to being unhappy again. It's just never satisfied. Um, like this side is fine, but the other sides, not so much. So we'll just do light concealer. Um, this is just <laughs> the end of one of those pro LA girl, like pro concealers, which I really do like this. I like it better than foundation. Um, so we're just gonna use this. And uh, I don't, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave my forehead alone. 
So yeah, my daddy is here. I'm super excited. He got here um, the day before yesterday. He got here on Thursday and I'm really excited. I have been enjoying him. Um, we went and saw a movie last night. We went to see Antlers, um, which was really good. If you guys haven't seen it or are thinking about it, definitely go see it. It's Guillermo del Toro, who is one of my favorite directors, writers, producers, whatever he is. Um, I love him. So we went to see that last night and the place that we went was so cute. It's a star cinema, um, and it was really, really nice. That was my first time going to one of those, so I liked it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as, like, makeup goes. Um, I have no idea. I The other day, I kind of just did, like, concealer and, like, a light something on my lips, and that was it, and I kind of liked that, so, but... I have to also remember that I'm filming, so it probably needs to be like a little bit more, you know, a little bit more jazzy. Anyways, um, <laughs> life update. It's not really a life update. <laughs> There's not been a lot of changes. My life is pretty much the same, which is not, it's not bad. That's perfectly fine. Um, just the same stuff. So I, I did make a decision. Well, I partially made a decision. I took the first step, so I did call my old therapist. Shout out to you, Elizabeth. Um, I called the place and I left a message because it was, I think it was like 5.15. They probably closed at 5, so I literally just missed them. My skin looks good. Um, but I left a message like just saying, like, I used to see Elizabeth. I want to get back into seeing her. Um, like, I want to make an appointment, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully she's still there, first of all. Um, so I took that first step just because, like, I just, I don't know. And like, it's nice to get the comments on here where people can like relate to what I'm saying. Cause I really be feeling like, like an alien or like I'm the only person who feels this way, which I know is not true, but like, I don't know. And the, the craziest part about it is if you ask anybody who knows me, people I work with, anybody, um, even my family, like they would probably say that I'm literally like such an optimistic positive person um but it's so crazy that it's only like that on the outside because the inside is like a completely different story um it's just I don't know it's just weird to me because like I've never been one of those people to like harp on what I'm going through meaning like share it with like close friends friends um boyfriends girlfriends people I'm dating um, so a lot of people think that I don't go through things or that I'm just like this happy, optimistic person, but it's not that. I guess I just handle mine differently and I think I internalize mine and I also understand like my problems and issues are my problems and issues and I don't want to be a burden to anybody else. But then on the flip side, I've got friends, associates, people that I've dated that like have no issue just like saying like everything that's going on in their life and like kind of unloading on you and like I don't know it's just it's just I guess people handle things differently but it's just so weird to me because I'm not like that so it's very foreign to me but a part of me is like probably if I was like that like I would feel better anyways I don't even know if that's making sense but that's just what I'm dealing with over here um I have a friend I'm gonna get some Xanax from and I was gonna make an appointment with my actual doctor who I strongly dislike by the way I need a new primary care physician um to see about getting back on anti-anxiety medication plus getting back on like the Xanax um or whatever I was on I think it was not Xanax it was something else but that hasn't happened and part of the reason is because I don't like my doctor but also I'm just hesitant about getting back on medication full-time plus the anti-anxiety medication that I was on wasn't really working for me like it was just more of something I was taking just to be doing it and like hoping that it was helping but as far as like actual results I wasn't seeing any so I don't know but and sometimes it's really hard because I don't even know how to explain like how I feel I just know it doesn't feel good and even like now my tone of voice and the way I'm talking and the smile on my face like you guys are probably like girl you're fine which I think a lot of people feel that way about me so it's I don't get that response of like empathy or like um anyways I'm not going to cry because I just got my lashes done the other day <laughs> so 
Anyways, let me get my legs together here and figure out what type of makeup look I'm doing and what I actually want to speak about. And maybe I'll see you in a second. So I'm having a mini freak out. I don't even know what I'm wearing, so I don't really know what makeup I'm doing. But we're just going to start with bronzer. Bronzer is always a good idea. So I will just begin bronzing myself, I guess. <sighs> I wish I was in a better mood. I feel like I always say that. I just have a lot of stuff that I'm like thinking about and most likely probably overthinking about. Um, and it sucks because like, <laughs> obviously you want to enjoy your life. And I feel like a lot of time, energy moments have been wasted or ruined because of overthinking or like sadness or like not being able to be in the moment. So that's one of the things that I want to work with my therapist on um is like working on how to be in the moment also working on how to not internalize things or take things personally and um what else oh also definitely asserting myself like saying no and not always putting other people's people other people's feelings in front of mine i don't want to do it anymore i don't know but then i go back and forth on that like if that's the type of person that you are i mean I don't know. Anyways, I'm just bronzing everything right now, but I need to calm down because that's I don't want to be bronze goddess today. Uh, I think we're going to do pink. I don't know what kind of blush. I think I'm going to do pink blush today. I, I don't know what I'm wearing is the problem here. So whatever it is, hopefully it'll go with pink blush because apparently that's what we're doing. Okay, so I think I've figured my life out. I'm gonna do, we are gonna be bronze goddess. I'm gonna use this blush, it's called a glow. It's a very old blush from Clinique. They probably still make it. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna be a bronze goddess because I can't get my life together, so. Um, yeah, like on the inside, how am I feeling right now? <laughs> Big smile and maybe I like laugh because I don't know, girl. Anyway, um, I feel a little miserable. Um, I could cry at like any second. <laughs> I also feel silly for like saying all this and also smiling because, but anyways, I just, and what is the problem? Like I ask myself that often, like, okay, well, what's the problem? <laughs> what's the issue? And I don't want to say that I'm sensitive. Oh gosh, there's a big chunk missing at my beauty blender. I don't want to say that I'm sensitive. I feel like I'm sensitive. But I'm, I mean, I don't know because I could just be just feeling how I'm feeling and it's justified. But I just feel like I'm extra sensitive and like little things are like hurting my feelings. But also, I mean, there are just things in my life that I wish were uh, different. Some of my relationships, I feel like are just not the best. Even some with like family members and I feel like the common denominator here is me. And also, I also am one of those people who I realize like I'm the only person that I can change. Like I cannot change anybody else. So a lot of my time is spent kind of looking at like what I'm doing or what I could be doing different, which can also hurt your feelings as well. Um, Cause then it's like all kind of back on you. So I don't know, I need to find the balance of like taking responsibility for my actions and uh, understanding the part that I play in things, but also like, you know, um, not blaming everything on myself because sometimes it's not your fault. So yeah, anyway. So what frustrated you guys this week? Enough about me. What made you guys mad this week? What upset you guys this week? Because Oh, okay, this is actually really pretty. I don't know if you can see from way over there, but we got a little look going on. I don't know how it's gonna fare on camera when I start filming, um, because I'm gonna be sitting in front of the sun and a ring light, and it might just wash me out and I'll look like I don't have any makeup on, which maybe we're going for the no makeup makeup look, who knows. Oh, so I didn't bake at all. Like I just put it on there and um, uh, pressed it in, which I think I like, but I think I want to do a little bit more. I'm just obsessed with baking powder. I just want to bake my life away. I want to be a baker. Anyways, now I'm just <laughs> saying anything, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay, come on. Come on, Chibo. That's looking like something over here. Um, yeah. 
I just also have like a crap. If I use this, it is gonna because it's down to the end. You guys have seen that before where I like sprayed my face and there's like white stuff all over it because it's the foaming part. So maybe we just won't use it. Um, am I dewy enough? Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, and then just overthinking, overanalyzing things, wondering if I'm like doing too much in certain relationships and if it's not being reciprocated and I just don't know. I don't have all the answers. I really don't. This is one of those times in life where I wish that like God would just come down and like speak to me directly because I need some answers here. And not even answers, like I just need some guidance, you know, some friendly advice and somebody who has a different viewpoint, which is, you know, why I think therapy is going to be good. I'm getting back into therapy. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with my lip situation. I'm kind of just putting on whatever. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Okay, so I finished <laughs> my makeup. Sorry, I stopped filming like mid-sentence. I really wasn't feeling it, okay? But I feel better and my makeup turned out really pretty and I actually already filmed my haul video, picked out my outfit. So I think I'm gonna make a smoothie um, really quickly before my dad and I need to start leaving, which will probably be around two or three and it's one o'clock now. So I'm gonna make a quick smoothie so I'm not like starving by the time I get to Joey's and just eat everything. I'm trying to be skinny, okay? <laughs> Okay, so this is today's smoothie. We just got kale, um, some bananas, there's mixed fruit, there's strawberries in there, which I might put another strawberry in there. Um, and then we're just gonna put a ton of water. There's flaxseed, apple cider vinegar. I've got some lavender honey in there. Um, let me see how much water do I wanna put, that much water. I don't wanna do like an extra large smoothie, but it's too late, so yeah. Okay, we've got our smoothie. I need to get more of my the teamy, um collagen powder. Oh, FYI. This happened. I lost a nail. Yeah, like mid filming haul video. It's just so luxurious. I really, there you go. Give it to, give it to nature. But I think I'm gonna get my nails done either tomorrow or Monday. Um, I took Monday off to spend with my daddy, but I might have to spend three hours at the nail shop because my nails need to be fixed so badly. So, hmm. Mm. But anyway. I'm gonna finish my smoothie and then we'll finish getting ready. I'll show you guys what I am wearing for the day because I think it's gonna be super cute. Um, so yeah, cheers. <laughs> okay, so this is our outfit idea. Um, I wore this to film, but this is a dress from PLT. I'm gonna do a jean jacket because it's kind of chilly. Our Hermes Kelly bag. And then I think I'm gonna do my Gucci flash truck sneakers. I don't know if I'm gonna keep the crystals on um, and I'll do my bandeau on here too. I mean, I'm sorry, my Twilly. <laughs> but yes, this is the OOTD for today. So I'm gonna start getting ready. Okay, so here is the OOTD. So super cute with my uh, Gucci flash tracks. I decided to take the crystals off. Um, cute little PLT dress. And then, like I said, it's chilly outside, so we've got our jean jacket on the top, and then blue Kelly, which I think is just super cute. Um, love this look. Love this for me. Okay, so in the light, here's what we're looking like. Super cute outfit. Love the sneakers with it. Love the jean jacket. It's giving. Ooh, it's chilly. Super cute. Okay. Let me see your outfit really quick. You look cute, Daddy Poo. As <laughs> Joey. Got our Daddy Poo. We are here. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Yes, to us. This is vanilla ice cream. You got to get that. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. <laughs> Good. Mm-hmm. So guacamole is a hit with Daddy. Good. Looks good, Daddy. Yum. Looks really good. Definitely not that Celine. I think this is mostly ladies stuff and the men's is just that one little part. <laughs> 